you need to learn this information. The reason why, because social media can be a benefit, but it can also be a toxicity if you're not aware of how to utilize it in a correct manner. What I mean by that is, do not get on social media. If you're just waking up out of your sleep, the last thing you do is get on social media. And here's why. Whatever you do, first thing when you wake up, you're gonna retain way more quicker. That's gonna be programmed into your mitochondria, which is basically your heart, your hard drive. That holds all the information. Think of it like this, your DNA from other people and your DA for those who are carbon, it spirals up and down your spine, okay? That is what holds the memories, information, access to many different lifetimes off of time timelines. That is what holds all that inf information. When you wake up, you're constantly programming new information. That's why whatever you do on the consistent, you become. That's why the uh, future is always changing because you're changing. If you change in a positive way, you go towards the positive. You manifest in that way. If you go to the negative way, the, the future manifests in a lower, uh, a lower realm. It just, it, it is, it's called cause and effect. Because you affect, meaning that you are the, the uh, end result of the reality. You, de you are the last result, the indicator that programs the reality. So whatever you believe, you technically have control over what happens next in a quote unquote future. So with that being said, by the the uh, the the, uh, the last thing you wanna do is get on social media when you wake up. Uh, social media has a bunch of fear propaganda. Social media can be detrimental if you're not aware and you're not adamant on what you look at. What you look at has been inputted to make you think in a low vibratory. So it's basically to put fear in you, okay? Yeah, bro, don't dritch. Do not get on social media when you first wake up. The first thing you should do is take care of yourself, uh, business, hobbies, your physical, your mental, and then I'll say like, wait, wait 30 minutes to an hour. Minimum 30 minutes to an hour. After that, I'll say get on so social media because Social media right now can be toxic. You guys know what I mean. Everybody watching this video up until this point, y'all know social media can be and is, you know, it's not just can be, it is toxic. I have to meditate and release a lot of programs that come from social media. Just imagine how further you will be in your life without social media. Social media really do hold you back. Now I'm just speaking of the truth about it. I'm not even gonna talk about like, I'm not gonna boast it or make it seem like it's this glory thing that we should all praise upon it. Cause it has this yin and this yang, it means the ups and it's downs. One of its downs is the information, the programs that put into it is to put you in a fearful mindset, which is false evidence appearing real. That basically vibrates you in a lower manifestation, which means poverty, anarchy, all the war, all that stuff is what operates on low vibratory. So if you don't vibrate on low vibratory, none of that stuff can't come into your reality. That's how much power you have. No lower shit can come into your reality when you focus on higher shit. So literally, you give it permission. So like the pirates, you give them permission. I know, pirates meaning ops, cockroaches, the lights, whatever you want to call them. I call them pirates because that's what they are. Because the pirates had to go somewhere. The pirates from all the stories that we heard about went to the, I call them the, uh, the lice. The uh, police, P-O-L-I-C-E. Pronounce it. Pronunciate your words. How y'all gonna say it's police? That's spelled P O L E A S E. Y'all stupid? How's it, how you gonna pronounce it police when it's spelled police? What the fuck? That's like signing a lease, but then signing something that says police. Like, and then pronunciating it police. Nigga, have you heard yourself talk? Niggas be like, you too. And I'm like, but motherfucker, you don't even know you're stupid. I'm like, eh. I don't even acknowledge those people because it's like talking to a brick wall. It's no point in talking to a brick wall. Don't even do it. Leave that brick wall alone. That brick wall is going to be a brick wall. I mean, it's stupid. You leave that brick wall alone. I like to actually become a brick wall when I'm around brick walls because it's easier to maneuver. So I'd be like, I just be left, right, you know, because you just want to, you want to give them what they want, which is more brick wallness, all right? 
So do not give it your power. So my point is, do not be, try to refrain from being on social media when you first wake up for like, it's like the first hour and then when you first go to sleep. Like when you go to sleep, I recommend you just focus on what it is that you wanna bring into your reality. That is when those are the two times during the day when it is not okay to go on social media. Do not go on social media. Do not focus on lower aspects of social media. Do not try to partake in anything of manipulation, programming, uh, subliminals, like unless it's gonna benefit to you having your desired re re uh, result, okay? Meaning that unless you want great shit in your life, don't partake in anything when you first wake up and you go to sleep. That is why when you watch a movie, the first and the last thing they show you is what you remember. Movie people know this, producers know this. You need to know this right now because the timeline is shifting, it's speeding up. And as the timeline speed up, this shit is gonna occur more quicker. So all the people who operate in low vibratories, they're fucking themselves up. You don't need to do anything, don't acknowledge that. Let them wreck and have it and let them sink their own Titanic because they doing it. You don't need to jump on the Titanic and sink with them niggas. What you need to do is watch from the side boats, you know, your yacht, and you see them niggas like sinking. You like, hey man, I tried to tell them they want to listen to me. You know what I'm saying? I told, I told them they need to, you know, vibrate in higher vibrations. You know what I'm saying? But they don't want to listen to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't do shit. But tell a person, they attack you after that because they're gonna do that. Once you tell a person, they're gonna manipulate you or try to, you know, enact you in some low vibratory way, and then they're gonna sink by themselves. You gotta let them sink by themselves. The most you did, the best you could do is try to inform them on some information, which they're never gonna listen to. People will never listen to beneficial knowledge unless it comes from like a priest or a pastor, a preacher, uh, or a teacher. When a, a pastor, a preacher, or a teacher. <laughs> ah, shit, that shit rhyme. A pastor, a preacher, or a teacher. If it don't come from those three, people ain't gonna be admin or even like recognize it as real information or even validate or even go and do their research about it. That's all you gotta do is do research. Nothing I say is meant for you guys to take on without doing your research on. Everything, anybody watching this video up to this point, which is zero, that means you are meant for this, which is zero. You are meant to learn this stuff because you are onto a higher vibration. The, the planet is shifting and not many people are going to go into detail of how I'm going to detail. They're going to tell you, hey, if you want to do this, they're going to say it in like a 3D, a 3D way, a lower 3D way, because anything 3D is lower vibration, lower dimensional. So if you still stay on that 3D shit, then you're going to be stuck in the 3D realm, which means uh, the same shit that's been going on. The same shit that's been going on like right now is 3D. It's very third dimensional. It's very low aspect, which means that you're linear, you go straight or you go backwards. But 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 uh, but many people don't don't go backwards or you go right or you go left. But you don't look at the other maneuvers or you don't look at the other ways, okay? So I want you guys to be adamant about what you utilize with social media. Don't believe everything you hear. Don't watch it first thing in the AM. At least go outside, watch something positive. Watch something that's gonna be beneficial to you. Watch something that's gonna help you and your family out. Do not wake up and watch gossiping or 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 uh, reality shows or or you know something that's just like you, 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 you. Try not to be so selfish. Cause the thing is right now is when you show more love towards others around you, you're gonna get more in return. I promise you. And it's not even because you want more out of it, it's because you do um you genuinely have a good heart. You just want more others for others. You see that, okay, man, we all can live happy. And why isn't everybody having fun and enjoying each other's company? Because social media has distanced us apart from each other. That's what it is. So I feel like everybody would be much closer if they just refrain from using social media one hour before you wake up and one hour before you go to sleep. Those times, social media free zones. Nobody should mess with social media during those times because you're going to program, you're going to become whatever it is you first do and whatever it is you first go to sleep uh, listening to. Just what it is. It's how they invest trillions of dollars right now. Follow the money, you're going to follow everything. But hey, bro, I'm wrapping up this video. Remember, 
refrain from using social media when you first wake up and when you first go to sleep. At least give it like an hour, but if y'all, minimum 30 minutes. 30 minutes will be the best thing. As long as y'all don't get on it right when y'all first wake up, y'all, boop, 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 like you're gonna constantly grow. But if, you, if you're that person that just wakes up with your phone right next to you and you like, man, social media, and you you go to sleep, fall to sleep with your own phone, I know I did. I, I just top it up with a lot of females on these facial apps, you know, uh, What's it called, man? Like, I used to do a lot of facial apps with like girls from all over the country. And I used to fall asleep with it, by my hand, on my face, and wake up with it, on my hand, by my face. And the thing was, that didn't help me. It helped me with the ladies, but it didn't help me manifest more wealth into my reality, which is what you guys want to do, which is what we're doing right now. I just did a few days ago, I'm doing it right now. Manifesting more wealth. You always manifesting more wealth. The, to take captain of that, you gotta wake up, Focus on wealth, focus on the wealth that you have, focus on being grateful for wealth, focus on being, focus on validating and being, being in the greatest high, high base, of, you know, seeing yourself, imagination, you know, realization. And then when you go to sleep, you do the same shit. You do the same shit I'm telling you right now. The other times you can get on social media, you can Netflix, I mean, you can Instagram, you know, Twitter, each other, whatever like that. But first, when you wake up and you go to sleep, don't even do that, bro. Just for your best interest and your family. Think about your family. If you got kids, think about your kids. You're going to help them out a lot better. And your kids should be doing the same shit. All right. So remember, the truth of be adamant about your social media. Be very aware of that because that shit can either help you or go against you. You know what I'm saying? Like if I'll get up and I go on social media, it'll be a lot of propaganda. It'll get me in my hair head for the rest of the day. So I'll be, you know, oh man, focusing on fear because social media. Realizing that social media did that. If I would not have partaked in social media, I wouldn't even be focused on fear. I'd be focused on the higher vibration. So then I gotta focus on getting myself out of that low vibratory and put it into the high. So that way I can always manifest high. You gotta stay in a higher dimension. Always, it's just a vibratory, just a frequency, like a radio station. You're gonna stay on 104.3, or you're gonna stay on 94.1. It's up to you, but you have control of that. That's why you have free will because you can choose whether to stay on each station or not. So don't let people implement the lower stations on you because that's what they do. Why you think they invest trillions of dollars? Shit, I would too. Uh, not so much, but I invest my money wherever pe people go. But to be honest with you, it's such a big business. I invest my money with it too. Shit, I don't care. I mean, I care about people, but shit, people going to partake in low vibratory anyway, so I might as well invest my money and make, make more money because people going to make money off of it anyway. So you feel me? So all I'm saying is it's going to be done. Don't let you be one of those people that fall for it as well. So try to refrain from using it all day. Try to refrain from skipping word. Try to refrain from just focusing on it. Don't believe everything you hear. Don't watch everything you see. Put not interested when it's really, really, really fearful stuff, man. That's shit affects you man that shit affects your money think of it like this you're gonna let this scenario on whatever these sites affect your bag or not it's up to you oh, shit i'm trying to not